Hi, I'm Linda Matthews. In this video, I'll be showing you how to cut perfectly shaped stickers or cutouts every time using the Brother Scan and Cut. Cutting stickers using the Scan and Cut is super quick and easy. However, the one thing that can become a problem is when you get a poor scan where it doesn't scan the edges perfectly. This usually happens if the colours of the stickers are pale or lightly coloured and the scanner has a hard time finding the edges. But there is an easy fix for this so that you can get perfectly cut stickers or cutouts every time. The process for printing stickers or cutouts onto cardstock or sticker paper is really easy. First attach the printed paper to the cutting mat. As you can see, my cutting mat has lost all the stickiness, however it works perfectly when I tape the edges of the page using masking tape. After attaching the paper to the cutting mat, load the mat into the machine. Once the mat has loaded, press the scan button, select direct cut, then press the machine icon. Because with the scan and cut, we can do everything we need to do within the cutting machine and without the need of external software. Then press the start button to start the scan. Once the page is scanned, adjust the framing close to the outer edges of the images. This will exclude any unwanted marks the scanner might have picked up from around the outer edges. Then press OK. As you can see, this scan isn't very good at all, as it hasn't picked up the edges of the images very well, because most of the images on this page have a light coloured background. Lightly coloured backgrounds makes it easy to cut out individual images using scissors, but isn't well suited to the scanning process. This scan has produced really ragged edges, which you can see are not at all suitable for cutting. However, there is an easy way to fix this so that the scanner picks out the edges perfectly every time, and it doesn't take much time at all. You first need to have your stickers or cutout files in either JPEG format or PNG format, and you also need some sort of photo editing program. If your files are in PDF format, you can easily convert them to JPEG files, and you can find a link below to a tutorial showing you how to do this. The files need to have a transparent background in order to be able to select each individual image on the page. With PNG files, each individual image is considered a separate image when you select them. But with JPEG format, the complete page is considered one image because the background connects them, so the background needs to be removed. To remove the background, open the JPEG file in a photo editing program such as Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. I'm using Photoshop Elements. This page of stickers or cutouts is one of the pages from this month's Junk Journal Club printables. To quickly remove the background, select the Magic Eraser tool. If you're using a different photo editing program, this tool may be called something different. However, it's simply a background eraser. Make sure Contiguous is selected so that only the background colour is removed and you may need to play around with the tolerance level to get the correct settings. I've set this at 15, which is close enough. Then click on the background to remove it. There is a problem with this process, however, because Photoshop Elements doesn't always do a perfect background removal. I'm going to add a black background, just so you can see how much of the white background has been removed. And you can see that the background removal is not entirely perfect and the edges are a bit rough, but we can easily smooth these edges out. The edges need to be as smooth as possible in order to prepare the images for precise cutting. I'm just erasing the text on this page because it's not needed. 
On your keyboard, hold down the control key for Windows or the command key for Mac and double click on the thumbnail on the layers panel to select each of the images. On the main menu, select Select, Modify, Contract. You only want to contract about two or three pixels. I've selected three. If you zoom in close, you can see that it's just shaved the jagged edges off the outlines. To smooth the lines, select Select, Modify, Smooth. I've selected 10 pixels, but you may need to play around with this setting. Then, with the sticker layer selected, copy the selection and paste it to a layer on top. I'm using keyboard shortcuts Ctrl-C or Command-C to copy, and Ctrl-V or Command-V to paste. Now if you look a little closer, you can see that those jagged edges have been completely removed and are now very smooth, so this will give you a good clean and smooth cut on the cutting machine. The final step is to add a black outline around the edges of each of the images. This will help the scanner to identify where the edges are located. Select the Styles panel and choose the Stroke option. Double click on the FX icon on the layer to open the Styles panel and set a black stroke outline that is 5 pixels in width positioned on the outside. This adds a thick black outline to each of the images on the page. If you zoom in close, you can see how nice and smooth the outlines are. Once all the images are outlined, save the file in PNG or JPEG format. It doesn't really matter which one it is. You can also do this background removal process in Canva. However, you do need a pro account in order to access the background remover. Access the Canva website and create a new design the same size as your sticker page. Select the custom size option and insert your size. My page is 8.5 inches by 11 inches. Then upload the page, which should be in JPEG format. Click the Upload button to open the panel, then drag the file onto the uploader. Once the file has uploaded, double click on it or drag it onto the editor, then click on the Edit Photo button, then select the Background Remover tool. The Background Remover tool in Canva is very quick and effective at completely removing backgrounds with one click. It is in fact my favourite Background Remover tool. Once the background is removed, select the Shadows option in the FX Tools. Then select Outline. Make sure the Blur, Angle and Distance settings are set to 0. The Intensity is set to 100 and the colour is set to black. For the size, select 5. Click the Share button, then Download. Make sure the Transparent Background option is checked, then download the file to your desktop. If your file is already in PNG format with a transparent background, you of course don't need to go through the process of removing the background, you only need to add an outline to the images. Once the page is prepared with black outlines, print the file onto cardstock or sticker paper. I've printed this page onto cardstock. Then attach the page to the cutting mat and load it into the machine, then scan.
Now if you zoom in close, you can see how nice and smooth these outlines are compared to the previous scan. If there are any extra bits that the scanner has picked up, simply access the edit screen and delete them. There's some small dot that doesn't need to be there, so I'm just deleting it. Next, you need to set the outline distance. This is the button with the circular lines on it. I always make this setting minus 0.75 millimeters. This setting will ensure that the machine will cut 0.75 millimeters in from the outer edge of the scan, and this will cut off all the black outlines. Once you remove the background, you can see that all the black outlines have been cut away, and your cutouts should have perfect cuts all the way around. When printing on sticker paper, the process is exactly the same except for one setting. Set the outline distance to minus 0.75 millimeters, then after selecting the cut option, click on the spanner button and change the half cut option to on. This will ensure that the blade doesn't cut all the way through the paper and only cuts through the top layer of sticky paper, leaving the backing intact. You may also need to play around with the half cut pressure setting, however I always leave it at auto and that setting works perfectly for me. This process will work for any type of sticker or fussy cut page and will give you absolutely perfect cuts every single time with only a few extra minutes of preparation. <music>